A little-known but somewhat controversial figure in aviation and military history, James Peck claims to have been the first African-American to shoot down five aircraft in aerial combat during the Spanish Civil War, an event that occurred when the United States military did not even allow black Americans to fly, let alone participate in combat. Born in Pennsylvania in 1912, as a child, Peck used to go and watch aircraft flying out of Leedstow Airfield near his house. A good student, his marks led to him attending the University of Pittsburgh, but the flying bug got the better of him, and he left and enrolled at the Curtis Wright Flight School. Here he established a reputation as an excellent flyer, but racial issues made Peck transfer to the Cleveland Institute of Aeronautics, where he passed his pilot's license in 1930. Peck then applied to the US Army Air Corps and the United States Navy, but was turned down due to his colour. Passing through several jobs, Peck finally established a fledgling career as an aviation journalist and had his first article published in Aero Digest in 1937. In August of that year, he left for Spain to join the Republican forces as a pilot fighting against Franco's nationalists in the Spanish Civil War. It is this period that the controversy over Peck's career and actions occurs. Peck, who was commissioned as a lieutenant in the Republican Air Force, claimed that between August and December 1937, he took part in seven air combats, 40 convoy missions, five strafing attacks and multiple attacks on shippings supplying the nationalists whilst flying Russian I-15 Chato and I-16 Mosca fighters. In these actions he would claim five kills over the Aragon Front, two German-built HE-51s and three Italian CR-32s and stated he was credited with an additional half kill. If true, then this would make Peck the first African-American air combat ace. But there has been a great deal of criticism of Peck's claim. Aviation historian Alan Hare states that sources concerning Peck's record are unsubstantiated and contain numerous errors. In addition, he published a comment by Republican pilot Jose Chang Salas Ogino that, quote, James Peck's service as a fighter pilot in Spain was utterly impossible, end quote. In addition, the Abraham Lincoln Brigade archives recalls that Peck never flew in Spain and the American Fighter Aces Association does not recognise his claims. Spanish sources such as Jesus Salas Larrazabal's comprehensive air war over Spain also make no mention of Peck's combats. Faced by questions over these discrepancies later in his life, Peck calmly reasserted his claim and stated that flying combat was a minor episode in his, in his life outweighed by his later accomplishments, which were impressive. Returning from Spain in early 1938, Peck would go on to reinforce his reputation as an aviation journalist and an expert in the field, writing initially about his experiences in Spain for Sportsman's Pilot and the New York Times magazine, and features on aeronautical issues for Harper's, Science Digest and Scientific American. He also wrote a number of articles calling for the inclusion of black pilots in the US military and published his first book, Armies with Wings, in 1940. With America's entry into the Second World War, Peck served in the Merchant Marine and after his discharge in 1945, he became aviation correspondent for Popular Science magazine. He remained a journalist until 1959, then went to work for STL at Cape Canaveral, making him the first and for three years the only black to serve at Cape Canaveral in any engineering capacity. He would subsequently work on the Mercury and Gemini space missions and on classified satellite projects. In 1972, he went to work for North American on the B-1 bomber project and retired from the aerospace industry in 1981. His career around some of America's most classified projects is particularly remarkable considering the persecutions other Spanish Civil War veterans face due to suspected communist affiliations after World War II. His career certainly stands in sharp contrast to that of Eddie Carter, who was hounded out of the US Army despite being a war hero. See the link at the end of my video on that tragic episode. James Lincoln Holt Peck died in California in 1996. Though his claims as a fighter pilot will most likely be forever disputed, he was, without doubt, a remarkable man who achieved a great deal despite the obstacles he faced from the inherent racism in American society at that time. Hope you liked the video. If you enjoy the content I'm making and want to support the channel, please consider buying my book, Desert Sniper. 
Links to Amazon are in the description. And if you have anything to say on the topic in the video, leave a comment. I do try to read them all. Cheers for watching. Bit of luck, I'll catch you later.